Hi, I'm Morak Dias, and welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Darkness. Uh, so, I know right now that it's guaranteed that somebody out there right now is, like, screaming because this was, like, the monkey island of their childhood. And they're just like, how could you trample on this game? You just, I mean, it's so easy. That was kind of cool, animation-wise. Okay. Okay, so... Do I just, like... Well, I guess he didn't say bring him back alive. And none of the snake monsters are trying to kill me. So just duck when they look like they're about to swoop. See you, bitch. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go up here. Gotta grab the glowing ceiling jizz. It apparently was a snake who was just trying to live his life. You had that coming, kid. If I were that snake, I would have done the same exact thing. So let's climb and grab the ceiling jizz. No, but I loved Oddworld. The other snake probably murdered you because you murdered his friend. And he still eats you. Even though there's like a million of those little fly things that he likes to eat. I don't know why that happens, but my microphone has a tendency to tilt. I need to get that screw fixed. And by fixed, I just mean it's got like the rocker handle and it's annoying. There we go. That's much better. So hopefully you can hear me a little clearer. Why isn't that thing putting out magical jujubes? Maybe he only chews for so long. Dude, there's like 8 million of them. Sound like a cats are breaking something behind me. Okay. Okay, just keep climbing up. Cats, I'm gonna kick your ass. I thought that'd be fun. Laharl, I'm gonna kick your butt. I swear to god, I'm gonna throw something at him. Laharl, be quiet. Sorry, I have to pet my cat's butt. So enjoy the snake dancing. 
because if I don't pet his butt, he's going to get upset. Okay, so that's what we have to do. Just throw yourself off the cliff, kid. Perfectly fine. See? Uh, you got to grab his jizz tail. I literally have to jump before I reach the screen transition. That's how slow this game is. Also, the screens are really small. Now you're gonna attack by like 8 billion shadow monsters. Or that happens. Thanks, game. Let me guess, I have to go in, free all the little things, so that way they have food up there. Ugh, those fucking ecosystem puzzles. Yeah, so you have to start running from off screen. That's stupid. Kill one. Every time I hear those frog sounds, like the stock frog sound in the background, it just reminds me of when I have to fart really bad. You guys could eat one any day now. Fucking seriously? I'm gonna guess that I can't jump past the other one. Dude, there's like 30 million of these things. I fucking hate this game. It's gonna start me all the fucking seriously with this game. This game does not know the extent of bullshit. Let go. I asked you to jump, kid. Truthfully, though, I think uh, Odd World is way more forgiving, and it's way more like you can look at a puzzle and kind of get what you're supposed to do. Like this game, the mechanics don't work correctly, so even though I'm like freeing those things, it's like the snakes up top don't work correctly. Or don't seem to work correctly. Like, I don't get why they're not trying to bite them. Or do that. Try to jump on the rope, but he he didn't want it. No. Okay, there's a thing right there for you. There's two of them. Here, have a third. Fucking stupid snake thing. Makes me feel like I have like s intestinal distress every time I hear those frogs. It's just awful. Get your stupid firefly. And I gotta wait for the one over there to get it. Why is he jumping forward? I don't understand this game at all. Also, if they eat little tiny fireflies, why are they even attacking me? That doesn't, like, does not compute. I was holding square, the run button, that entire time, and he just decided, get the fuck off the rocks. Decided he wasn't going to do it. Okay, eat your stupid thing.
if they at least let you save, like, after the first cave jump, then it would be okay. Or it, like, continues after the first cave jump. Provided you've got... Well, obviously you can't do the cave jump unless you've gotten the stupid fairy things to come out. But... Uh, Thank you. Uh, the free the frame just freezes. Well, that wasn't a good idea, dum dum. Well, he's dead. There goes the spine. We didn't need a mouth zoom in. He dead. I mean, that monster's pretty cool looking. I'm going up here because I don't trust this game. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, no, it's gonna rape you. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. He's gonna catch her. Grab you by the. He's gonna eat you. It's like they tried to make a puppet, a Muppet, but they made the creepiest one. Amigo, amigo. Amigo was trying to sell you there, but then those guys came to kill him, and he's like, yeah, yeah, By the way, I'm going to take a minute, because this is really boring, to say that I never liked Monkey Island, and I thought it was stupid. And I know that's half the point, but it doesn't make it any less stupid. And I really hated Sam and Max. Like, I had these weird fond memories, and then I went back and played them, like, a little while ago. Probably a few years ago. Well, it was a little more than... No, it was like two or three years ago. I played some Sam and Max. Wow. Thanks, game. And I realized that they're goddamn bullshit. And they're stupid. And the jokes are just totally not funny. Okay, what are these things? Also, you've drowned. You're not Echo the Dolphin. I'm waiting for him to drown. Unless in Dark World, he can... Feel free to breathe underwater. Can I actually get out? Nope. The animation for him getting vaporized is actually better than his animations. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Okay. Apparently, it's a thing that zaps you and moves rocks telepathically. Okay, come on, come on. S seriously? Wow, I really hope I don't have to do like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles puzzle this way. Like the worst swimming controls. Because I can't, I'm not like holding just left. 
I have to like hold it at specific angles in order for him to go. And it's not like a 90 degree angle, it's like an obtuse, like 15% angle. Okay, I now have inexplicable light powers. I supposed to do game I know oh here's some page master bullshit here's my regular attack here's my super attack here's an egg say I think I thought I lost the ability to double jump well that's not helpful well this is where you die kid Set it. Okay. Let me guess. Fish are gonna kill me. Oh, that was satisfying. So I take it we have. To, oh my god, really? So I take it we have to somehow get the other egg to the other side so we can do the thing. You have the power of earth. No, get down. Kid. Now I'm gonna die to something in here. Okay, that's not a thing. Just drown yourself, kid. Make it easy. Okay, good. At least it starts me here. Alright, can I do the I have the power here? Okay. So, can't use my spell thing here. Okay. Ugh, wow, that's bullshit. Kind of have to fight. A oh, great! Timed puzzles with this terrible swimming. Go. I thought I was gonna die. Ugh. Is it? Isn't it too early for water levels? Okay. 
Catch your breath so you don't drown. Even though technically trying to swim that far, you'd probably drown. Or you get pressure sickness. I don't know where I'm going. Going down? Going up. Going dead. I like where do you go in there? I tried going down and he wouldn't let me, so unless I have to get like super close and do it. Which knowing this game's bullshit probably. The reason why I'm saying bullshit is because I haven't, like, uh, I haven't seen anything that's enthralled me too much. The only reason I keep playing is because it is possible to keep playing. I'm not saying that it's that enjoyable. Also, did you see the hitbox on that? There's, like, no hitbox. Probably because they know it's bullshit. So get your air, you whiny baby needing your air. What happens if you came to this planet and the main, like, atmosphere ingredient was like argon? You would die over your stupid dog. Ugh. Yep, you dead. Yeah. <laughs> At least I haven't died to one of those yet. Okay, stop getting stuck on like every piece of I won't even say geometry. Stop getting stuck on the hitboxes. Well, that was a bullshit one. Oh yeah, more suction puzzle, quote unquote. Seriously. Hey. Well, at least it didn't start me like all the way back at the beginning or like at the last air breathing part or something. Okay, so why is that one blowing? I literally can't get away from that one. So the one on the bottom is blowing, and the one which is something they haven't done yet. Well, other than what this game is best at. I'm dead. Because apparently everything here eats children. Good to know. Also, I just wanted to get a death from him getting killed by just about everything in this entire game. I literally can't outswim the bottom one. I can't really outswim the top one either. Well, let's try going up. Up is stupid. Let's go down. Watch, I'll go down and it'll just be a plant that just sucks me straight down. Or I'll just drown. So we'll assume that he aired up, even though technically a lot of times those kind of like little caverns will usually not have what you want in it. There was a thing I watched about diving, and apparently these people were below like the red line or something, which is um, in caves you'll get below a certain height, and then it'll be like... Seriously? Fuck this game. Uh, so he was on the red line, and so when he went to take off his mask to breathe, like an idiot, he ended up breathing in nothing but sulfuric acid. It was like sulfuric acid and, like, nitrates, I think, something like that. It had some, nope, you don't want to breathe this chemicals in it. 
you have to like get it like right in between the two currents. Ooh, the neighbors turned off their lights. You go to bed. Naughty neighbors. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get past this one. I don't know. Seriously? Okay, so they're like, do, 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 do. I thought that one was going to catch me at like the very last second. Okay, this one's a blowing down one. Oh, are you fucking serious? The fuck? Can I like... Don't turn into them, dum-dum. No. Can I actually swim? Oh, he's actually swimming faster this time. Is that thing gonna kill me? Oh, so maybe I need to zap that one and then go over. Do like a... I didn't realize I could climb here. Or he won't climb there. Well, that can happen too. Do I have to, like, hold up or something? Uh, that's not true. Okay, that was esoteric. So, yeah, I basically have to press up. And I have to get it, like, just within a certain space. Or... Sometimes he double jumps, sometimes he just regular jumps. What? No, I... I guess he got to the end of the part he can actually walk on. <sighs> yep. Just fighting with the game. That's not true, because I've been holding jump this entire time, and it's only if I press up does he actually do it. I was waiting for that one to reach out and get me. Alright. Oh, yay. Could you? Thank you. Uh, if I have to start to the beginning of this. Okay, good. I have to be like half a hair hair back. <sighs> Andy. Okay. 
Well, that's way more effective than your previous one. I was waiting for him to just grab me. <laughs> no, you tard, get up there. Nope, can't run past him. Ugh, that font is almost as bad as Comic Sans. Okay, apparently this bolt skips across water. But won't hit the egg. Apparently this vault won't hurt them. Good to know. I mean, this game would be creative in concept if it didn't have such a terrible character and terrible animations. Or, well, terrible character animations, I guess you should say. <laughs> well, that was completely and totally fair. Uh. All right, let's try to get through this part. It's good to know that it can't get you if you're ducked. Well, on that note. Uh, I will continue this in the next episode of Let's Play Heart of Darkness with me, Mark Dice. See you later.